everyone. Okay, so the first most basic question that we usually get is why not CD safe detergents or why not homemade? So I'm just going to go through um, real quick on a specific ingredient that you really need in order to clean your diapers, which is called a surfactant. Now, with um, regular detergents, they are made of mainly surfactants. There are other ingredients, but surfactants is a very, very big one that they use. Um, a surfactant is pretty much an emulsifier where it makes things wetter, if that makes any sense. Um, on all the research I did, that's the most basic term that they've used. And it makes it so the soap doesn't stick to itself. It, um, the detergent will actually sud, and that's what it's designed to do. And the suds and the soap will attach itself to the fecal matter and the dirt and the grime and the grit. And it will pull it away from your clothes and from the inside of different layers of fabric and so it pulls it away and it makes it so it won't stick back to it and it'll wash away and rinse clean. Now with CD safe detergents it's pretty much just a crock. On the most common one which is rocking green the surfactant is listed as the very last ingredient. Not all CD safe actually include a surfactant Rock and Green does, but it's the very last ingredient listed. Out of everything, when they list ingredients, they always go in order of concentration. So if the surfactant is the very last one, so has the least amount of concentration in the actual mix, that means that when they suggest that you use one to two tablespoons, you're getting, if you're lucky, about 15 to 20 percent cleaning powder power in one to two tablespoons. That's not enough to clean even a load of laundry for me. Um, the other thing is a surfactant is only, only manufactured in a lab. So there is pretty much no way, unless you have a lab in your home, for you to be able to make a surfactant and put it into a homemade mix. A homemade detergent, we call them soaps because they include types of bar soaps. Bar soaps have, um, they leave a film on clothes and especially on your diapers where it will not rinse clean and it can actually trap fecal matter and urine and other grime and crud into fabric. Not just diapers, but into the fabric themselves. And it takes even more work to get them clean. And also, when you use homemade, when you're using one to two tablespoons, there's not a whole lot of actual soap used. And the more soap you use, the more film that you get on your clothes and on your diapers. So that is the biggest reason why we do not recommend anything without a surfactant, which is things like Tide or Ology or pretty much any mainstream detergent will have surfactants in it. That is why we recommend that. The other big thing on cleaning your diapers is the amount of water. So it's always essential to choose a load size for your washer that is congruent to the actual load size you have in the washer. Um, you need the friction and you need the surfactant in order to get your diapers clean and clothes clean for that matter. If I were to put um, a few articles of clothing into a washer, I wouldn't put the largest load of water on. I would put the load of water congruent to how many clothes I actually have in the washer. Because friction is what makes things, helps get things clean and helps it wash away. 
So, there you go. Hope this helps.